Leica started uh, a little over 10 years ago, and our first film was called Coraline. We're using stop motion as the foundation for our technique. The idea of stop motion is you're having a physical object that you are photographing, and then you're moving that physical object really small increments and taking another photograph. We're actually using 3D printers in an unconventional way to produce facial animation on our stop motion films. Our first film was called Coraline. And when we were building Coraline, one of the things that was limiting us at the time was the fact that we were having to hand paint each individual face. And I still remember being in meetings with the director of Coraline in negotiating the number of freckles that Coraline had on each side of her face because we knew that a painter had to hand paint each one of those freckles. Once we hooked our uh, horse up to this 3D printer in the computer, and for the first time, 3D printers were accurate. They were repeatable. We had the ability to suddenly do things that had never been conceived in stop motion before. We had a hunch that Stratasys, this, this Connex 3 was just the beginning of their roadmap, and we gambled and we were right because the next iteration of that is the J750, and we were ready and willing to work with the J750 as soon as it became a beta machine and, and hit the market, and we're, we're working on that in our next movie. Stratasys has their stamp all over with things that artists have used their technology to produce wonderful results. We are inspired by the work that Leica is doing. They're revolutionizing the way that animated films are made. They are pushing Stratasys continually to stretch the bounds of the technology into new ways that allow them to continue to be breaking new grounds as they make new films. One moment on the early stages of Kubo where there were three character designs uh, monkey, beetle, and this Moonbeast character that we had just seen a 2D drawing of. And I, I recognized that that 2D drawing and that character design was going to be impossible to achieve with our current color printing technology. And I look back on that now, and if we had chosen any of the other 3D printers that were on the market at the time, we probably would have crashed and burned because we wouldn't have been able to rely on the machine's repeatability and that dimensional accuracy. Where we are now with our film, I'll refer to as film five, is that we have basically have a workflow with the J750s that allows us that we have an animator sit down, animate a unique line of dialogue specifically for that, that one shot in the movie. And as long as we have a couple days notice, we'll be able to print that out, process it, and deliver it to set. We've looked back to Leica. Uh, and have visited Leica, worked with Leica uh, over the years to better understand what they're doing and look back at our side and say, how do we get the technology to accomplish the things that Leica wants to do? Being able to have a machine like the J750 that's repeatable and accurate has really afforded us the, the, the idea of even being able to achieve this shot-by-shot -shot customized animation. I think there's this general level of trust and respect on both sides of the aisle that allows us to continue to push each other in really positive ways. And I, I'm really excited by continuing to forge that relationship on, on our next movie and movies to come.